Welcome to Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based MMORG. This is video 29, The Souls of Hala. Um, we're going to jump right back into where we left off on guild creation. Um, the, the only thing I'm going to do is I need to make um, guilds a little cheaper, which we put in connect here as our constants, and I'm just going to make it 50, which is way low, but I, I want to be able to do it a couple times so we can test it. I tell you what, let's just make it 20 to make it real cheap. So if we hit refresh, you'll see I can now afford it. Um, so now we need to make it to where when we make a guild, it will actually put the guild in the database. So let's go back to our start a guild, and now the next thing we need to do is we need to kind of, if we're submitting, if we're submitting a post to the page, we don't want this showing up. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a variable called bypass and I'm gonna make it equal zero just to kinda of set it and what we wanna do is if we're gonna start right here we're gonna actually go below guild creation we want it to go ahead just in case of cheating let's go ahead and have it to where it checks if they're already in a guild but right below this we're gonna do if bypass equals zero so basically by default this will play through this is what we'll have and just to kinda of check it we'll refresh it and see we're still back here <clears throat> so now what we want to do since we're sending a post variable um, we want to set that and just because of the what I'm used to I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. It's basically I'm going to do a hidden variable, a hidden post, and I'm going to name it um, build guild, and I'm going to make the value equal 1. doesn't really matter what it's set, just as long as it's there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say if Tell you what, if is set. Kind of changing my mind as I go through this. If is set, and then we're going to do our post of build guild. So if that's set, that variable, and then we're going to actually insert this all into the database. So once we hit submit here, that's going to create a post variable. The first thing we want to do before we do anything else is go ahead and set our variables. So we will do name of the guild equals whatever was sent to us. And then the welcome message equals What do we call it? Welcome? Yeah. So now those are set. So now we need to, and I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Let me see if we got insert in here. Nope. So I just don't feel like typing all that stuff up. So red user will work. It'll have insert in there. So let's just grab this insert right here. Now we want to insert this into the database. And of course it's not going to go in here. We're going to have to change this. So let's just call it guilds. We're going to create a new table. We're going to have um, name. And then we're going to have welcome. And uh, let's see uh, we can do a count on members. Let's just for now, let's just keep it that. We're probably going to want to add a lot more to this. But I say for now, that should be all we need. We're going to do name and then we're going to change this to message probably should have kept it welcome but it's alright so where are we going to go here all the way to here double check that so it should enter it 
could not create guild. Okay, and then as long as everything's fine, we want to let them know. Guild created. I'm wondering what the... Nah, that'll be all we need right there. And let's just drop it down one just in case. So guild created. Um, let's go ahead and do this to just to make this look a little prettier. Let's get rid of all this though. And let's make it go back to index. And we'll just say go back. That way we have a go back button to, to leave here. We also want to put that when it says you do not have enough gold. So that way they can go back. And also when you're already part of a guild. And we want to add it here. So that way if they just change their mind at the last minute, they're not hitting the back button. They kind of have it. Um, and let's drop this down to also. That way it, gets, it gives them a, a way out to where they're not hitting the back button. A little more professional. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create our tables in our database. Oops. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to create a new table. We're going to call it guilds. And it's currently going to have three fields because we're going to add an incremented ID. Um, we're going to call it GID for guild. Guild ID. We're going to have it like I said, I don't expect too many, so let's do medium manager. Now we're going to have name, and we're going to call this welcome. This is going to be bar care. You could do this text base. Let's go ahead and do it text base. And this bar care is going to be 21. And this is actually going to be auto increment. Oops, wrong one. Well, where yet? Yeah, here we go. Where's my? Oh, there it is. Um, let's make this the primary index. And I believe we're good. Save. Okay, so we got that set up. So we should be able to create a new guild now. Let's go ahead and refresh it. See, there's our go back button. We hit go back. Oh, I didn't change it to go back to index. Let's fix that. Ah, our form isn't ended. That's the number one thing there. Got to end those forms. Go back. Okay. So start guild. Now let's create it. Let's call it um, tutorial guild. Ooh, tutorial. If I could learn how to spell. And welcome to the tutorial guild. Great guild. Uh oh, had an issue. So what was the problem? Let's see. Insert into oh that's why I call it guilds and guilds. Let's go back. Everything's the same. Create it. Bam. Guild created. Now if you notice, it still fed this garbage out. That's because we didn't set our bypass. So let's go back. Let's go back in here. And once that's set, we need to change this to bypass equals one. That way it doesn't equal this, it'll completely bypass it. <laughs> and to test it out, let's go into, let's make sure everything was entered right. Go into our guild, one, tutorial, welcome. Let's delete it. So, whoops. Let's go back here. Let's refresh, you don't really have to, but let's start a guild. We'll call it once again, tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial guild, create the guild, and it created it, but it didn't do the bypass. What did I miss? Let's go back, but let's test one thing. It's also letting us in. Oh, okay, I see what's going on there. Um, bypass equals one, bypass equals zero. What am I missing? Uh, 
I don't think I'm missing anything. Let's see. I have bypass equals zero twice. I don't need that. It doesn't really matter, but um, that's really weird. Let's try it again. Let's refresh it. Refresh. Okay. Let's delete our. Huh. There is one thing I also missed that we need to add. Delete. Okay. We should probably truncate to start the ID IDs over, but we won't worry about it right now. Okay. There we go. Must have just been a lack of refresh or something. I was going to say it should be working. So go back. Now, if you notice, the one thing we haven't set is this, or we're not minusing the money. So let's take care of that right now. Um, let's go to our. Let's go to our store. And let's do this. And let's do insert. Or update, I'm sorry. Let's do a little more cheating. I could have swore we updated. Let's look at our combat. That's what we need to look at. Trust me, this is faster than retyping all that stuff again. Battle. Should be in battle or attack, one of those two. It's been a while. There we go. So we just take this, copy it. Well, I'll go ahead and leave it open just in case we need it. And we will run into where were we at? Start guild. Now what we want to do is after it's created, and we know it's been created, we want to update players, set, what did we call it, um, guild ID, guild ID equals, and then we're going to do guild ID. Where name equals player. And we've got player set up up there. So, could not add guild to player. So that part's set. Um, but then we also need to minus the money of the cost. So while we're here, let's go ahead and do um, set the gold equals gold minus the. Um, guild price. But we also got to check to make sure they even have uh, we got the money. I'd like to go ahead and check it again um, just in case cheating and stuff like that. It really kind of kills it out. So let's also check it again up here. But I want to get rid of that. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically adding it to where it checks it again twice. That way you know, pretty much know that no cheater is going to get in because this ain't going to happen if they don't got enough gold, period. So um, that should delete the money. The only thing we don't have is this set. So what we're going to there's a couple ways you can do this, but I'm going to do this the easy way. We are going to steal some more code up here. Once the guild has been created right here, it is now in the database so we can come in and we can pull that information so what we want to do let's call this guild info let's change them probably been easier to type this out but oh well not really okay select all we want is the G ID from guild where name equals the name we set. The other thing we want to do eventually is make sure that two guilds can't have the same name. Um, you wouldn't want that, but we can we can kind of we all you would do is do kind of this a while statement with basically with the same thing we've done here and you can actually pull that out of the uh, the reg user page where we check to see if there's another player of that name. You can use almost the same code right there but I'm not going to worry about it. 
So that'll give us that. So the only thing we got left to do is to set that variable. Build three info. Oop. We want to call guild ID equals guild three info GID. And that'll give us everything we need. So I believe we're looking good, but let's give it a test. Sometimes this is the best way to test, just kind of, if it happens, it happens. Um, where's my guild? Let's <coughs> delete it out of there. And let's give her a try. Let's refresh. Let's call it tutorial. Guild welcome message. Welcome. And let's create guild. Guild created. So now we should be able to... Yep, you're already part of a guild, so we know that's been set. We can't create a new guild. Our next qu next um, our next uh, thing we need to go to is we need to create an actual guild. Um, hmm. Now that I think about it, there's going to have to be a way. We're going to have to figure out how we want to make it to where other members can enter a guild. Do we want to buy invite or do we want to buy randomly? I'm thinking an invite would be better because we already have this message system. So let's start with there and then we'll branch off. So the next thing I want to add is I want to add a guild. If you're part of a guild, then I want to add a guild box right here that you can click. And I'm going to do that on the next video.